This week in movies, we are talking about G.I. Joe, The Rise of the Cobra. Real American Tell hero. Tell young Dan that he would ever say those wow. words. Yeah, right? Um, it's, I believe it's the first Hasbro uh, film. So we're going to get a long line. There's a long line so of, like of the Hasbro movies. this is like going back to the first DC movie. Exactly. There's going to be a And that was a big street. deal in Marvel, uh, Sp yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. So now we have the Battleship and Monopoly and all those Candyland, all those movies that we're supposed to. Yeah, when you say it like that, it does know, sound exciting. About to happen. Bro, you, know, you yeah. joke. Candyland. <laughs> Tim Burton's, <laughs> Tim Burton's, Tim Burton's, Burton's Candyland. Candy Land. Uh, we actually saw it. It was called Charlie and Chocolate uh, yeah. Factory. Don't okay. eat the candy. Anyway. That was shoots and ladders. So we're going to talk about G.I. Joe. Uh, it's directed by Stephen Summers, who uh, did two of my favorite films, Camp and All, uh, Deep Rising, and uh, The Mummy. Um, Deep Rising. This is actually his first movie. Which one was Deep movie. Rising? Uh, Deep Rising was Treat Williams and Famke Jensen. It's, it's Die Hard on a cruise ship and a Sub Leviathan. And a Leviathan? That's why it's awesome. God, it's so um, deep and rising. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought it was like baking. Uh, G.I. Joe is Steven Summers' first movie that he shot um, after shooting Schindler's List. Oh, <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, call back. back. All right. Uh, it, it has a huge cast. Steven Summers' um, that, Schindler's <laughs> List would be hilarious. <laughs> it, has, it has a huge cast that, I, you know, I, it, would, I, it would be boring to list. But it's but top we're gonna line. Do that anyway. No, it's top line by Channing Tatum and Dennis Quaid. One of the Wayans brothers. Oh, that's who's top line by. We're gonna leave out. Well, those are the, the, the characters Quaid. that it follows, along with um, uh, Sienna Miller as the Baroness. Those for Eccleston. Right. So we could list them all. <laughs> Doctor there. Who. Right. That's okay. Doctor Who. Okay. Doctor um, Who plays Destro. Come on. So okay, Doctor Who played Destro. Yeah. Tell me more. That's it. That's all that was. <laughs> Okay, what do you think so, of, of the movie? Uh, here's the thing. This movie is uh, from... Okay. <laughs> I think this movie is better than I had expected. I had actual fun, which is surprising. Uh, the trailers, I, I'm surprised to say, did not do justice to what the movie is about. My big fear going into this movie was that it, every G.I. Joe was just a guy in a suit. There's nothing special about them. There was no delineating between the different skills. It was just everybody had a suit. That's why they were all so Your cool. Your fear of the, of the trailer? Uh, from saying? the trailer. Okay. Because it was like the whole tra half the trailer is these are these suits. Go play with them. And then them running through the thing. So the good news is that's not actually the case. So Alex each... trailer theory intact. Intact. <laughs> uh, still, I mean, I, th th okay. there was no love for this movie. There was a lot of like, I actually had a really good time. Front to back, a lot of action, which is good. I thought there was some decent comedy, I mean, as far as action movie comedy goes. Um, but uh, but I was sort of surprised. I was, I was sort of pleasantly surprised. CG is a little intense at times when it's CG men. And, or I, so, so The motorcycle chase was the most sort of you mean egregious ex accelerated use. accelerated? No, no, no. The, the chick yeah. on the motorcycle was the most oh, egregious use of part of it. It was like, yeah, you yeah, could yeah. have easily done that practical and it would have looked cooler. But I... I don't know about easily done, but done. Done. And I, you know, <laughs> to be fair, I had fun. I was surprised. Jeffrey, I rose. Are you going to be the tater to his tot? Of course. It's a... I don't know what that means. <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it means... <laughs> oh, I didn't say it. Who said it? I, uh... If it means... I what? rather liked this movie. Interesting. I know. What? <laughs> I know. What? Let's be honest. What? We are all the real Americans. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. It's not a movie for adults. No, it's not. No. No. Right. But My, Heather's the nephew Jake is going to. He's like 13. Will love. If you had shown movie. this to me when I was 10, in the heat of my GI Joe obsession, it would have been the greatest. It would exactly what I would have wanted. And you know what is what's great about it is that it's a cartoon movie. It lives inside the universe of that cartoon series, those toys, and it doesn't, it doesn't ha take any, have any um, misconceptions about making it something that it's not, mm. which is, the, I think, the trap that Transformers fell into, which it, it, it completely warped that whole universe and went in, in this bizarre direction that, for me, didn't work. But G.I. Joe lives inside its own skin as being way over the top toy movie. And for that, I think it's completely successful. It's, mm. it, it, it is fun. And, you know, listen, I could, I could have done without all of the flashbacks. Yeah. I, could ha I could have done without 
the love story kind of forced sort of. stuff yeah, happening, yeah. you know? There's a lot of stuff that I could have gone with that. The, the least interesting characters in the movie, I think, are Duke and Agreed. Ripcord. Agreed. Uh, I liked all the other characters much more. I had more fun when they were on the screen. It's not a, it's not a great movie, but it's better than Transformers. Interesting. Dan, what Interesting. did you think? Definitely don't agree with that statement. <laughs> um, I, 12 year old Dan has already seen this movie 12 times back in 1992. What, what were they no, 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 I'm still, I'm saying. Oh, oh, you're saying because you would have yeah. gone back to the theater over and over. Yes, exactly. I'm oh! saying yeah. the younger version of me like has already that. seen. I was like, I was like remember, what 12, remember, movies? Remember 12 <laughs> specific <laughs> movies have been made that have this exact, do you really did? What? It die. was attached to me. No, it's not. It Put was. it in your pocket fully. It was attached. It's technical difficulties. Um, it's your I'm pants are so. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, what are my uh, pants? Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. Thank Don't pay any attention to what's going on Okay. Um. So 12 specific movies. Uh, Yeah. Uh, fun, sure, in parts. The the accelerator suit sequence was phenomenal. I was I surprised how good that was. that, I mean... It's toys. I it's what you do so with your toys. Yeah. More than that, I mean, it's it's basically what I dreamed when I was playing with, yeah. when we were playing with our toys. It is what I was seeing in my head. The way the cars... Yeah, it's all it's just all fun. what you do with your, right, with right. your toys. Exactly. Um, it's definitely a kid's movie, for sure. And, yeah. and and I it, it, I don't think that you could you know I sit there and I'm like well it was nice that Transformers was is is for kids but adults can enjoy it too and I and I enjoyed it through the eyes of a child I didn't enjoy it right um, as an adult and, and but I don't th I think um, I don't think you could make GI Joe for adults too I think the premise of yeah, GI Joe it would have to be adult like born. It, or for kids. Yeah, it, there I, isn't a real I, I it agree. Been a You'd, major misstep if to, they had tried that. I think. I, right, I agree. Like you can't, you can't have it. Then you can't have any of the names. Right. You know, yeah. you can't because it just would be awkward. So, as a kids action movie, it is one of the greatest. Even the names were a little awkward. Whenever you could tell, right. they were but like then you have to say okay for kids. Thing. Right, exactly. And then it's you know fine. what? The, but you know, I, it made me excited about the thing that I have been talking about since I moved to Los, Los Angeles. Before any of this stuff happened with Transformers and all that stuff, I want to do a live action mask movie. <laughs> I bet this kind of was that. Honestly, this uh, was the thing where I was like, it could happen. Somebody it, could actually say yes to that. It should be said, so too, exciting. that Joseph Gordon-Levitt gave as a transformative a performance as Heath Ledger just wasn't given as good a story or right. words. But yeah. I as transformative. I was if not it, as happy with the end product if, of yeah. Blue Hood. Anything, uh, anything. That's a major that's spoiler. A spoiler. Yeah, you should no, spoil it. No, it's not that spoiler. It is a spoiler. I mean, it's not that. All right. All right. All right. I was going to say, if it had ended after Paris, I would have been happy. That <laughs> that last underwater Probably sequence. after the credit. Oh. Oh, by the way, I love the underwater, underwater battle. Underwater, it was like space underwater battle. battle, Battlestar Galactica. It was a space right. battle underwater. And why are we but, not living underwater? <laughs> I'm just saying, every time there's like some, even deep blue sea, like every time there's like, or Because you know why? Because right? Bioshock. Yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, and Jaws 3D happen. with Dennis Quaid. Exactly. I want to no, live not under good. the water. It always ends in catastrophe. We all drown. <laughs> well, shit, so are space battles. I mean, why are we not in space? Although, how great was it? Because we all at die in end, oxygen. But how great was it? At the losing. end, there was that epic toy that you could buy, the giant f f flagship G.I. Yeah, Joe carrier. Yeah. 99. All right. It's in. Um, 